Hi, welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I want to share with you a haul from Sydney mostly and a little haul from today. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. Today was shopping day with my mum. She wanted to hit all the secondhand shops around town. But first of all, I went to Dolly Ollie's, which is a cheapy shop in my town. And I grabbed this pearlized cardstock. It was four sheets for $2. They did have other colors that were six sheets for $2, but not in the white. And I wanted to try the white because I want to try regular Distress inks with them because I don't have the pearlized ones yet. And then they had iridescent straws. <laughs> the flyby caddy and so I thought these were really pretty and grabbed them to make some ones with which I need to do I just need to find the time for it our first stop was the first Vinnie's and I just grabbed this container because this is what I store a lot of my craft stuff in is system of containers and then they had this itty bitty craft mates book for five dollars so I grabbed it because they are really handy storage and that's a really cheap price then we went to one called Mission Australia and they had this big pack of 12 by 12 white cardstock so I grabbed that pretty sure this is pretty thin cardstock but that didn't bother me for two dollars for that huge stack of cardstock I'm not complaining next up we went to the second Vinnie's and I grabbed these tags because they were only a dollar. I thought I would snag a bargain there. And then we went to the Salvation Army store and I grabbed this kit. Mischief! Even though most of the stickers have been used and some of the die cuts and things have been used I didn't mind I have some other things that will also work with this and it still has some of the papers which I have copies of some of those papers as well and then lastly I wasn't going to buy any more file folders because I have a bunch of them but I saw these and I have some Minnie Mouse things and I just thought that would be perfect for Minnie Mouse themed things that is my mini junk shop haul we went to four and I did pretty well because I spent less than $20 I think I spent $15 all up Next is my Sydney hauls and I decided to do this all in one video because it makes it easier to edit and get it put out rather than have n different videos of what I've bought. You're probably going to see a mishmash of things. I will try my best to tell you where I got things. This is how they're stacked in the trolley to come home. From a cheapy shop called Dollar King at Miranda I grabbed some square bags because I'm out of square bags for cards and I've made a couple of square cards lately. There's lots and lots of Daiso things. There is this pretty paper that I am splitting with my sister Heavenly Imaginings and there's the patterns. They're just really pretty so we both liked it but 15 sheets of one paper is a lot. <laughs> These were from the bookshop at Central Station. They were marked down to a dollar so I grabbed them and next time I'm up there I may grab some more. We'll see how it goes. I grabbed Cinderella. I hope that's not one of the ones I grabbed before. And I also grabbed the Little Mermaid paper set from Daiso. There are others that I really like but I'll get some more later. I didn't want to spend all my money on these at this time <laughs> when there's so much more and I was hoping the second Daiso I went to would have more of the art stuff but they didn't. The Daiso I really like looks like it has shut down. Then I got these really cute Mickey and Minnie bags. They have Mickey on the back and Mickey and Minnie on the front. Well, there's two different styles in there. I'm not sure. Oh so there's Minnie on the back of that one and Mickey on the front of and then on this one Mickey and Minnie on the front and I give you my heart. Oh that's so sweet. And then from Riot I got this Eraldo De Palo genuine drawing cartridge pad. It has 50 sheets in it. Doesn't say what GSM just says that it is acid free and they are a heavyweight paper. They're not I would say 120 GSM maybe at a guess and it is pretty smooth but it does have a little bit of tooth to it so I thought that would be an interesting paper to try out if I ever get some damsel or odorless mineral spirits and from Daiso you're gonna see a lot of these I got a lot of mesh baskets for my trolleys now one of my trolleys needs to get fixed it's 
pain in my butt it wasn't made properly and so the wheel doesn't seat properly and keeps popping out this is another basket i got two of these and two of these and then from Hot Dollar again, I grabbed these hang tags. I've actually got two packets of them, so another one of them will show up at some point, hopefully. But $2 was pretty cheap for 80 pieces. From the reject shop, I grabbed these Universal Tourist Travel Adapters. I have a mini one that I got off eBay, but I don't like how it sits in the power board for my Tim Holtz heat tools so I grabbed that and I grabbed a spare just in case. That's not the one I meant to grab. I grabbed the wrong one. So that one is the one for Australia that I meant to grab and then this is one for traveling to the UK, Hong Kong and others which I can take over there if I need to I guess but I meant to actually grab two of the Australian ones and then there's the second one of those baskets. Here is the second one of these baskets. These I found at the second Daiso. This is George Street Daiso near UTS and this is the other George Street Daiso a bit further down. They were all $2.80. From Lincraft I grabbed this Couture Creations hot foil mini stamp set, the heart set. There's two mini foil stamps in there. I grabbed some of these Mad Max bamboo spoons. I thought they might come in handy. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. We'll have to wait and see. Riot is dangerous. They had Series 3 Art Spectrum paints on sale for $10. So they were $19 down to $10. And I grabbed Permanent Mauve, Permanent Crimson, and Coral. I'll have to find the ones I got last time and put them with that. Then at right, they also had the Recollections washi tape down to $2 a packet. They were, I think, $8. And then when I went last time, they were $5, but I got 40% off. And this time they were down to $2. I did manage to snag the ones that I had already bought for my sister, but unfortunately they only had one packet of each of these. And this is the llamas, and then it has the purple and the teal, and they are really pretty. And that one is like a confetti foil or something like that. And this one has stars on it. Then we have Mercuries. <laughs> But I just thought they were really cute, so I grabbed that. And then we have the pink thin one with stars, some um, blue with pink foiling, and then the pink glitter. So they were two dollars each. Then I got two of these baskets. They're two different sizes. They had a couple of each size. They did not have a bunch of all the same size that I could buy. So I grabbed two of these blue ones. Very pale blue. I have a white trolley and I just got a mint trolley so I thought I would hang all the white ones or most of the white ones on the mint trolley and the blue ones on the white trolley and I think I have a grey one yep I have a grey one coming up as soon as I show you what's in it there's the other packet of tags I grabbed these Parve bling rhinestones I do have some without the sticky on them I think they're slightly smaller than this but I just grabbed them anyway because sometimes it's nice to have an easy option I grabbed these cute little sticky notes I just thought the mermaids were beautiful and I think there's 20 sheets of each, but 20 notes each, eight patterns. So we have all the princesses and then we have Ariel and Flounder and Rapunzel. And this one is Mickey and Pluto, Mickey and Minnie, Daisy, Donald, Daisy, yeah, extra Mickey. Again, everything was $2.80 from Daiso unless it's labelled otherwise. This is the grey basket. I'm not sure how well you can see that but I grabbed that one I got all the ones that were powder coated they did have some that were not powder coated but I didn't want to put them on my trolley and have the trolley scratched up and I have another one of this type or it's slightly different I have two of these ones full of stuff that I'm about to show you I got these gorgeous Rapunzel and Ariel envelopes. They were the only two princesses that they had there at the time. And they are just stunning. And there are eight in each of those packets. From the bookshop at Central, I got these Montmartre glues. $2 each. One is for sticking foam to anything and one is tacky glue. I just thought I'd give them a go because they were $2 and they looked interesting and I use a lot of glue for things. And I've recently started doing the Jennifer Maguire thing and using foam on my cards. And we have another one of those wire mesh white baskets. Then we have the other one of those blue baskets. I got these. I see everybody using 
mold liners for things and they have bullet tips of these as well but I also thought I would try out the chisel tips. I'm thinking of doing some trackers. Not sure when or how that's going to happen but I thought I would try these fluorescent markers. There's pastel and bright and they were the two colour themes that the second George Street Daiso has. Then I grabbed this itty bitty file set. I thought it would come in handy maybe for doing my boxes and things. I've been using the Kaisercraft ones, but they are quite big sometimes when you're doing small areas. So I thought I'd try these itty bitty ones. Next, I grabbed some illustration markers. They have different colors. It looks like they have a bullet and a chisel nib. Have a quick look. So there's the bullet nib and there's the chisel nib. And I thought I would give them a go and see what they were like. They have a couple of different colour ranges. $2.80 for two, I assume, alcohol markers. Yes, alcohol type. Illustration marker alcohol type. A 7mm tip and a 1mm tip. And then from Central Bookshop again, I grabbed three Renault Art markers. I also have some grey ones that I picked up on clearance down at Vincennia. These were three for ten dollars because ages to find a color selection that we liked my daughter and i got 70 71 and 73 at some point i'll give them a go once i find the gray ones <laughs> i grabbed these they're called fox hunt collage acid free rub-ons i thought i could put them on panels to make vintage cards with they were 25 cents from lincraft these were 25 cents from Lincraft as well, rub-ons, St. Patrick's Day ones. I don't have a lot of St. Patrick's Day things, so I thought they might come in handy. I got some more of them because they still had them for a dollar. I grabbed two of these catalogue menu stands for when I'm doing the markets. I thought that they would hold some of my bigger items really well. These were $2.80, which is really funny because the week before I had been to Officeworks and I bought a three-tier stand and it was $42 and I grabbed these for less than $3. I just thought I would be able to put notepads and things like that in them on the table display. Then from Lincraft again I grabbed these journaling cards, Mercy brand, which is the brand that used to be in a big W. There's that pretty see-through one with silver foil, then there's this one with the scalloped edge. This one with the floral corner. This one with the two Baroque style sides. This one with the scalloped frame. And this one with the flourishy brackets. And then you also get this floral one, this lined one, this journaling spot lined one, scalloped lined one, the middle lined bit, and a border. And I'm guessing that they layer up nicely, though I haven't tried that yet. And then I got these ones, which were a dollar as well. They had really pretty colours. Gold flourish, scalloped border, the postage stamp style flower one, the broke style sides, scalloped frame, and the brackets. And that layers up with that. That one layers up with that one. Oh, I got two of them for some reason. Got an extra one of them. I assume that one goes with that one. Of course you don't have to use them together. You could use them separately if you want to. And then that one goes with that one. That one with that one. Kind of reminds me of a composition book cover. And then the postage stamp one with the postage stamp one. Riot had a wall of $2 things. And these Fisker shape templates were on there. I have a couple of these. I never had the tool to go with it. And my mum gave me the tool a couple of weeks ago and so now I have the tool and a few blades so I thought I'd grab them for two dollars. Some of them are bigger than the dies that I have so they might come in handy. Another Daiso find. Did I get one of them? I can't remember if I got one of them. I'll have to check my sister's things and see if I got one of them. <laughs> they had these Mercy paper trimmer refills. I grabbed them. I'm not sure if they were only a dollar and I'm not sure if they'll fit any of the paper trimmers I have here. So I just grabbed them to see at a dollar. It didn't really matter. And here are my copies of, I don't even know if I got this unicorn one last time or if it was a different one, but the unicorn and mermaid washi. And I'm thinking that I actually got different ones. So I know I definitely got the mermaid one last time, but I think the unicorn one I got was different. From Dollar King, I got this metal palette. I thought it might come in handy when my daughter especially is using acrylics. 
we have one dedicated plastic one but I thought this might be easier to clean out the paint might just peel off it I'll have to get back to you on that one I found pitter patter boy collectibles from spotlight at Miranda and I did not like that spotlight at all it is a mishmash there's no theme to the way they've put the paper crafting things together and the paper pack pads are stacked 10 15 deep and they're mixed up so you have to go through every pile to find what if there's anything you want it was very very weird then from riot again they had these brush basins he said that they were normally 19 dollars, and guess where they were <laughs> They were on the clearance wall for two dollars and so you have brush holders there brush holders all the way around a little ridgy bit if you want to use that to wash your brushes on the lid also converts into a palette if you wanted to use it for one I bought two of these they had two there so I bought both of them one of them will be a dedicated acrylic wash basin because I took a big green one for watercolours and I've used acrylic in it and now I have to give it a really good scrub to try and get all the acrylic paint out of the bottom and go back to just using it for watercolours and then we'll have these for acrylic and a spare in case I ever need it but for two dollars it was a bargain so I just grabbed it and I'm not sure if I grabbed this one last time but this home decor stencil by Urban Artist was two dollars and they're usually about nine or ten dollars for the 10 by 10 size and I grabbed these giant spots because I don't have one that's that big and they were two dollars as well now I'm going to move this all aside because I have some paper pads to show you I found one more thing I grabbed this cutting board sheet I thought I might try it as a shim in my die cutting machines instead of using the metal plate I wanted to see if this would work to cut into it also saves your plates if you use something else to cut into and I've seen people cut up the green boards to cut into as well but they didn't have any of them there I bought four paper stacks. One of them I'm just briefly going to show you when I can find out which one it is. This is the Spooky Halloween paper stack. I desperately tried to get a second one, but I was unable to. You have found one after all this time in Miranda's spotlight. I was really happy with that and it was just an off chance find. And I absolutely love this paper. This one is my favorite from the whole stack. And I used it last time and my fiance asked me to keep him a piece. So I wanted more of that paper. <laughs> I like the rest of the paper as well, thankfully. I didn't just buy it for that one paper. Lincraft, they have this stack for $2. Girls Night Out Creative. Creative used to be the brand that was at Kmart. But Kmart is now carrying their own Anko brand. So I guess Lincraft now carries it. I'm not sure. I've not seen this brand there before. They do have the whole range of Rosie's Carpe Diem there. I did see it at the Miranda one. We have the partying girls on the spotty background. There are two of each sheet and that is nicely foiled. This page again is foiled. Not all of it. Some of it is white, some of it is foiled. The spotty strips there, they look pretty cool. Then we have the pink dots and silver dots. Diamond pattern with a big flower in the corner and some scallop borders. Then we have this huge floral one with a label at the top. Another huge label in the middle with some florals around the outside and a big scallop border, something like that I might not be able to use so I might pass on to my cousin. This one has red in it which is the first bit of red I've seen in this stack I think. Got grey spots and red stripes. Then we have this argyle pattern with the glitter so the page isn't foiled it looks like it is glittered so far. We have all foil and glitter so we'll see what happens further on this one is cupcakes and hearts and they are glittered all this bit here is glittered we have text lines in the middle and the florals are glittered and the little birdie is glittered there is no glitter on this one with the disco ball I guess we're past the specialty papers now this one has pink stripes and big florals we have just a scalloped frame with the bow at the bottom another big frame a damask flourishy type pattern some pretty florals and a vintage style pattern in the background stripes with another label spot at the bottom reminds me of the shape of a cake plate stand cover <laughs> then we have another diamond pattern with the light radiating out from the center and some scallops at the top and bottom 
and so one just has the little corner flourish up there and another little one down here and the background is all flowers and flourishes then we have this purple flourishy pattern with the chandelier and that is the last one this was in between my paper stacks and I just squished it it's A4 tracing paper and it was 20 sheets for $2.80 so I nabbed that my second $2 paper stack pink lemonade foil and glitter so you get 10 foil sheets 10 glitter sheets and 22 printed sheets in this one 42 sheets what was this one 10 glitter 10 foil 22 printed so it was the same have the apples i wasn't going to get this one to start with and then i thought for the shopping lists i make some of these fruity pages would be good i have the bon appetit pages but not everybody's going to like the bon appetit style ones so I thought these would come in handy too. They're a bit more cutesy. Strawberries, apples and the strawberries are glittered. Then we have polka dots, pastel polka dots. <laughs> we have this same page. This was the background in one of the girls night out pages. Only this time it's glittered and doesn't have any decoration around the edges. Then we have this trippy pattern <laughs> and it is glittered. Now we are on to foiling and this one is pink foil stripes. Then we have the florals and a label and the label is foiled. We have the diner girl in the corner here foiled. That is so cute. I like that. Lemon, lemonade, fizzy, soda, zing, sweet, lime, fresh, spice, summer. <laughs> lots of words and some of the random ones are foiled we have this page so these stacks are very similar we have the big flower there and the scalloped borders lemon slices lime slices pink slices i would assume grapefruit but i don't know that's very pink <laughs> i haven't seen a fruit that pink bubbles pink lemonade bubbles we have a lemon down here on this body scallop page this just has scallops with spots in the middle and on time pink spotty page another big flourishy scalloped border with stripes in the middle big floral down the side and just yellow then we have it's like recycled fiber type paper homemade style then this is a very distressed spotty florally and flourishy page to finish so they were two dollars each and then at Lincraft finally <laughs> this is the last item that I'm aware of this is a Disney mega paper pad and oh my word I have never managed to snag one of these this is the first one I have got my hot little hands on my sister bought me the Star Wars one but this is the first Disney Disney one that I have gotten my hands on and while I wow that's a very thick chip on the back and while I do have a few of the old paper kits the really old paper kits I don't have a huge amount of Disney papers so when I saw this for the bargain price of <laughs> ready drum roll ten dollars had to nab it because they are not that cheap here and the Lincraft I went to at Miranda had a lot of them I haven't actually been to the Lincraft at Town Hall in a while if I ever spend more than a couple of days in Sydney, I might try it. Sydney is very expensive for us. I haven't actually been traveling about. We've just been mostly going to Miranda and Daiso. Daisos, as many Daisos as we can. There are three sheets of each. So we have the Princesses on the Bridge, Belle, Cinderella and Rapunzel. Then we have the Princesses Silhouettes and lots of words. Glamour, Confidence, Princess, Lovely and Sweet, Rapunzel and Jasmine. And the P for Princess and lots of hearts. We have more Princess Silhouettes and we have this in the purple this time. Very pretty, I like that. <laughs> and then we have Cinderella and her castle. Cinderella, Snow White and Rapunzel on the pink this time with the same background. They recycle a lot of the backgrounds. And we have the window with chandeliers, flowers and flourishes. Some grey flourishes, pink flourishes with princess on an ombre background. Snow White, Cinderella and Rapunzel, elegant and graceful. And we have the staircase fairies this way pink and some of her fairy friends i don't know which ones they are my older daughter absolutely loves tink but she does not like the newer add-on ink shows and things this is a page that just says tink and we have bells cups butterflies roses birds it's the little things that make you fairy happy and one of the 
your fairies. And then we have Tink and a little bird told me. And we have polka dots in the background. This one has beauty, makeup, mirrors, birds, paisley, <laughs> birdhouse, bows, pot plants, butterflies, you name it, it's got it. <laughs> says Rosetta so I'm guessing this fairy is Rosetta and it says beauty love there's lots of flowers and things took me a minute to work that one out and we have Tink and Key and her giant pom-poms look very out of place there and just a plain green background this one says sunny days we've got spiderweb dragonfly bird cage watering can butterflies again water droplets Roses, fairies, friends, animals, the garden, rainbows, I believe, everyday dreams, sunny days. So Tink and friends here. This is a floral page that has Tink and her friends on it. Tink, silver mist and Rosetta. Pink ladybug, flowers, butterflies, more of the fairy friends and some berries and vines on this very vibrant blue. Now we have <laughs> recipes for fairies. Tink's Tinker Tarts, Rosetta's Honeysuckle Juice. Iridessa's Rainbow Muffins, Fawn's Acorn Chip Cookies, Silver Misty Meringues. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Simply Pixelicious. So Tink, her friend, a cake, some florals and leaves. Sweeten with a smile. Tink cuddling a friend. Tink's Tinker Tart recipe again. Then we are at Minnie. And she's on a pink polka dot background with some florals. Lots of scribble flowers, pretty as a flower, that's what they all say. And then big polka dots in the background. Some more flowers and bows and hearts, Miss Personality. Flowers of flowers, pretty as a flower, it's words in the flowers. Spring bling with mini and flowers and polka dots. Mini bows and polka dots. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of spots, that's hurting my eyes now. <laughs> um, bows, a mini, very weirdly done mini. I'm confused by this. <laughs> it's like popped half her off. Rainbow hearts that say Minnie Mouse. I love shopping Minnie with the black polka dots. Some more rainbow hearts and mini heads and black polka dot hearts. I'm all shopped out. Yeah, that was me last Saturday. <laughs> and stripes. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. We have Tiana, Rapunzel and Belle. We have flowers and butterflies. Then we have this pretty floral pattern. Rapunzel and the chameleon and the castle. Sleeping Beauty and her tower. Butterflies and florals. Every inch a princess with Cinderella, Rapunzel and Tiana. And then we have the string of wallpaper type flowers. And that is the end of that stack in my epic haul. Wow. I'm hoping I can cut it down because this just took over an hour to film. That's one big epic haul. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this look at the things I bought in Sydney. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this, and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.